In a recent UTPR patch, the weapon wheel for Frisk got completely removed and repurposed as moves instead. When you equip a weapon, it automatically swaps to the tab where all the moves for said weapon are. So for example, I equip the Worn Dagger, it automatically set the Worn Dagger moves right here. So if I press E again, it'll show the weapons tab. You can equip your weapons through here. And if you press E once again while in the weapons tab, it goes to your armors. So this is how you equip your armors, you equip them through this tab right here. Press E one more time and you'll head over to the food tab where you do your healing. Press E again to go back to your moves weapons. Okay, so the pros for this change is that Xbox players can finally swap weapons and armors while moving around like this. So originally if you opened the weapon wheel on console, it would just stop your movement entirely. And this made combos like Warn Dagger 3 into Gloves 1 like nearly impossible. You can weapon swap a lot more easily on higher ping, which is very helpful. Since you only need to press a button, you don't need to hold E to open the menu, move your mouse over, hover over it, click it, or close the menu to equip it. You just need to press the button and you have it equipped. It makes weapon swapping so much more easier. You could probably learn how to do it very easily now. You can do the shoes into knife weapon swap way more consistently. So let me show you what I mean. And they were in full stun during all of that. They were completely stunned, they couldn't do anything. The cons for this, well, you need to build a lot of that muscle memory that you lost back. You need to learn what buttons to press. This is something you'll learn over time. Once you do it, it's not really an issue anymore. Now this is a personal gripe of mine, but the armor tab feels very cluttered. I don't know why, it's just something about it doesn't really sit right with me. But again, all this really just boils down to muscle memory and learning what combinations of buttons you need to press in order to get what you want. Now aside from all of that, you're still able to land the combos you normally would be able to. So here's me doing like an intermediate first combo for example. Okay, uh, something I just realized while I was recording this video, uh, you know how Frisk, when they equip the gun, you have to wait a little bit before you can actually fire it? I think that's gone now, it's either a bug, but you can just like, do it really fast. <laughs> so this is most likely a bug and it will probably get fixed, but you can just do it like instantly, as soon as you equip it, there's no like visual indication. Also, another thing I noticed, you cannot use gun while airborne. This is a pretty good change actually, but it does mess up a few combos. You can't really use it while airborne anymore. You can only use it while you're on the ground. Now, another change I want to talk about is Glitch Shell Kara. So first, the menu section soul setting was removed, which means you have to use the traits time no matter what. Now personally, I use section souls, but I guess this is UTPR's way of telling me to live with the new and dump the old, get used to all this. Uh, the setting to enable the soul cutscene was also removed, which means you will always spawn with your traits enabled, you don't need to press like a button to enable them, you'll just have it enabled no matter what. So rest in peace traits theme because you'll never be able to toggle it. Oh yeah, one last important thing that I want to talk about is block buffering. This is really important. So. I feel like it's something that a lot of people are going to gloss over, but this is just actually a really major change that they made. So to explain it, if you hold down the F key, you'll always be blocking assuming your character isn't in a debounce state. So for example, if I was LMBing and then start to hold my block and quit LMBing, I will instantly block the moment I'm not in debounce. So I will hold the F key as I'm LMBing here, I'll let go, instant block. Now this is an important change since this lets you fairly react to certain things and you get benefited from it. <laughs> I do feel bad for the Asgore maids since their main counter is the blocking and now it's just made easier for people fighting Asgore since you can react to them a lot better. Oh yeah, I guess, I guess Story Shift Kara got changes as well. 